19 and 3 primarily because of what they do defensively. I'm, we're going to talk about Giannis offensively all year long. Sure. I, I wanted to show tonight why this team consistently is the best in the league in half court defense because they, they not only are great technically, when they aren't, they make up for it with great effort. And this possession has all of that. And it starts with where you force a guy. Now, when you come out and close out, you work on this every single day in practice. Do not get beat middle. So take a look at the positioning. Both shoulders square to the sideline, top foot is up. That means you are not going to come middle, but I am not giving you the baseline. Why is it so important to send baseline? Because they practice this every day. Your help is geared to sending the ball in that direction. That's what happens on the drive. Now watch the chain of events that this triggers. Here you come, you get the weak side rotation perfectly by Chris Middleton. Giannis's job in this situation, drop it, protect so you can get to this corner shoot if he makes the pass. Eric Bledsoe has to take away middle in case there's a cutter. And then finally, Kyle Korver's on top. He's got the first pass to the weak side of the floor. This is what you practice literally in a shell defense drill every single day. First pass comes out. Remember I said they're not perfect because you end up with four guys on one side of the floor. That's not ideal, but watch the way they make up for it with effort. And no team in the league consistently does this as well. This is going to be a cross-court pass. Watch the effort on Eric Bledsoe to get out to this three-point shooter on the closeout. Bang, there's one. Now here comes Kyle Korver. He's going to chase the next guy off the three-point line. That's just effort. And then finally, this last drive, you get him to the middle because you chased him off the line. This is perfect. You get a help from this side, not from the strong side corner. Never leave a strong side shooter. Stay home with him, force the baseline help, and then the key is this. Is Eric Bledsoe going to get here to the corner in time to protect his teammate? It's exactly what happens. You get a deflection. Once again, it ain't perfect. You end up with three guys on one side of the floor, but it doesn't matter because their defense was so good. They're down to three on the clock, so at this point, you can just flood the zone and you force this kind of a runner. And I just wanted to show the rest of this because this is what great defense does. You, know, you leave the good offense. stuff at the other end of the floor, yep. and nothing feels better than capping off a great defensive possession than somebody knocking down a shot on the other end of the floor. And 